I've just got outside to do the daily check and I, I am I'm just soaked. It's so cold, the rain is so cold. Anyway, the snow's gone this morning. Um, but it's so cold. It's like a, I think it's like a sleep rain. I don't know what it is, but it's literally just, it's like it's like I'm wearing no clothes. It's going straight through, just attaching the coldness to the skin directly. Um, so yeah, is that me charging? No. Um, everything's done, so we're good to go. Really. Morning, by the way. <sighs> we ready? Then I shall begin. Auto. Still got quite a lot of condensation at the bottom of the window there, and the driver's window is fully. That's better. Let's fix that. Right, let's go. Oh, I've got a minute. Luke C. I'll ignore that. That button, that button, and that button. I don't know, turn the camera on. Now we need to do self level on the cab. So this must have fell out. I don't know if it's been out all night or not. No, it still works. It's snowing now. Quick brake check. Jesus. <laughs> Should have got a quick fridge check. I think that's, that was a bit, that come on a bit sharp. That's better. <laughs> Turn right, Stafford Park 1, then cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A5, towards Shrewsbury. So those who follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, I, I put a picture last night of uh, looking outside the windscreen in the snow. It looked quite nice actually. What's up with this? Ah, that window. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A5, towards Shrewsbury. Right, so, um... The A5 is closed, I've had to come off the A5 onto this this road and uh, yeah it's going well. I don't know, I'm hoping to rejoin the A5 but uh, I don't know. Just let me go, sweet. Gee, I'm blind though, just burnt my retinas off but <laughs> cheers mate. Another bin wagon up there. I lost this driver here. Can you get back on the M A5 up there? Yeah, just see it down, it's right, oh, is it? Yeah. Nice 
Turn right. Oh, there's a good driver. Look at that. Thank you very much. You are a good driver for giving room. I'm not flashing my lights. I'm turning them off and on because it's uh, the blind people then. Not too bad here. Well, it is, a, it is a bit overflowing, but not too bad. So I've just got my coffee and I got me Jamie Oliver breakfast sandwich sausage bar thing. I must admit, I don't like Jamie Oliver's um, stuff normally. Um, but the seats are in, the ones at the Shell petrol station seem all right. Um, so, anyway, yeah, it's a bit overpriced. I mean, if you compare it to a McDonald's, it's, I mean, I know McDonald's are probably has more volume. But I should have just overtake this thing, I think, uh, I think I maybe should. That's juicing sometimes. Turn left. Oh. So I made a boo boo. <sighs> Hands up, just one hand, the other one's up wheel. Um, <laughs> so yesterday when I was in Cornwall, I was uh, I was told I was coming up to up here. It was change of plan, so I had the details for the, where I should have been picking up, and then they called me and said, "No, no, don't go there. Now go to Corona Span instead, and um, do a load from there." So I said, "All right, you're going to send the details over." They said, "Yeah, we'll send the details over in a bit." Um, I said, right, I'll head towards, I'll head towards there now then. And, uh, and I just put in Wrexham, even though it's Chirk. I couldn't remember which, where, which area it is, but anyway, I just put in Wrexham. I thought, that's close enough. Uh, by the time we get a bit closer, I'll, I'll put in the, the correct destination. And um, I forgot. So, <laughs> so as I'm coming into Wrexham, I'm thinking, this doesn't seem right, this. I'm sure it's south of Wrexham. And then it said, you have arrived at your destination. I was like, for God's sake. So, um, <laughs> heading back south again. Uh, it's not too far though, it's, uh, it's 11 miles. Um, still about 20, 20 odd minutes, but. When I mess up, I do hold my hands up. Oh, um, I've noticed the trolls are starting up again. I'm not really bothered by the trolls, to be honest, but. If, you, if anyone, any trolls are watching this bit right now, what I'm saying, can you just leave some more troll messages for me? That way I can just hide you from the comments and just get you out of the way. Because uh, it's fun. I normally give a little reply back, probably call them a knobhead, and then I uh, hide the user from the channel. So they'll see the reply, and they can't, and then there's something they can do, they can't reply to it. Well, they can reply to it, but it won't be seen by anybody. It's, the comments are hidden from the channel completely. I'm just getting their ad revenue for every time they come back on it. <laughs> when they give thumbs down as well, it's identical to giving a thumbs up. Um, in terms of the YouTube video, it just shows his interaction. Thumbs up or thumbs down just shows that somebody's interacting with the video. The more interaction, the better it is for your channel. Um, when they give a thumbs down, it just tells YouTube they don't like that particular type of uh, video. So 
if that video says trucking, uh, trailers, whatever, it's less likely to show that person trucking and trailer videos. So, crack on. <laughs> Right, we are here at Kronos Ban. So we're picking up uh, right, then you have reached your wood. destination. And uh, that, like, it's like chipboard, I think. Sometimes it's different stuff. After 80 yards, you have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. Oh, you're going in the wrong way there, mate. <laughs> we used to have a trail on stand here, I think. So you just drop one in here and then pick one up. I just got told Corona Span. Have I not supposed to be a Corona Span? Oh, no one's to see, no one's to the. You don't take me texting? Right, hold on a minute. At the end of the road, turn right, B5070. One sec. So, so someone on the phone said to me, Corona Span, it wasn't you, obviously. Um, we're on this phone that you're on now. Uh, we've been looking at it all day. Could you please go to Corner's Bed? It's Corner's Bed in Birkenhead. I, don't, I didn't even know there was one in Birkenhead. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. No problem. Um, I think someone on the phone said to me it's going to Birkenhead Port, so. If I've seen that, I've just saw Birkenhead and thought that's where it's going, so my apologies if, uh... No, is it? Right, fair enough. Right, yeah, I didn't even know there was one. Now I do. Alright, lesson learned. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, no problem, will do. Alright, cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> right, apparently it's Kronos Man in Birkenhead. Um, she just said, oh, I sent you a text yesterday, and she did, it says, we've been looking at, uh, we've been looking all day for this other job, and then it says, uh, could you go to Corner Span in Birkenhead, but someone on the phone had said to me, it's going to Birkenhead, so, that's why, that's why it's, uh, I'm in the wrong one, <laughs> so, off we go to Birkenhead, I don't know where it's going now. CH forty one one HN No address found CH forty one oh one Look at this idiot How close is that car? That's ridiculous Oh, he's just munching, he's just filling his face with crisps. Right, it, I've just checked. It says NWT Cavendish Ward. Yards, the and I think that's a freight forwarding company, or a freight handling company. Because uh, I've just been speaking to Kev, now I know he's been to this dock before, this port, this uh, wharf before. 
and he just said it was it, he was loaded with steel but it was it was like a freight handling company you know get off the boats and then load it onto onto trucks so i think it's the same place so i don't think it's going to say on it um chronos band nwt could be northwest transport which is actually next to our yard their head office i think or the next street over. Come on, cars, go. What are you doing, man? Might be nice, though. So, right, it's. Uh, 200 yards, turn right, Duke Street, then you have reached your destination. Just before the roundabout. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. See, TomTom Tom have got this road down as uh, NW, NW Trading Limited, yep. Yeah. You have reached your destination, Duke Street. Is this the security out here or is it, what is it? No. Right, NW, straight on, drivers, okay. Okay. Go up. You go in? No? Okay. Ah, that way bridge. Paperwork. It's going to answer him. Spell correctly. Well, apparently I weigh 15 ton MC. I thought it was 16 ton. Must be a lighter trailer, this. Well, just over 15 ton. D2 I want, it's a D, shed D2. Drivers, please stop here for D2. Right, I'm gonna undo the buckles of the curtains, but I'm not gonna undo the curtains, because it's, it's just gonna go. Right, let's go in. Right, he said, that was a forklift driver, he said, spin down there, you wanna go to D2, so. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Never mind. Basically, what he should have said was follow me, but he didn't. <coughs> that other driver just come out and out me then. Cheers for that, mate. Understood him perfectly fine, though. <laughs> so maybe it's just me. <laughs> Being a bit of a divvy.
was here. Yeah, I got lost then, mate. <laughs> oh, what have we done to this seat? Oh. <coughs> I can't see it with my trousers and it just adjusts to that. No, no, it's all right. The, um, the, the, the driver that I dropped off at, uh, earlier on in Queen's Ferry, uh, he's going to go for an MOT and uh, I'll drop him off the Renault. <coughs> Is it button? <laughs> so he's just driving me like that? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Strapped up, good to go. I've just give him an hand as well. One of our Hellier drivers. So uh, it's only going on the corner to the port, but I'm just, I'm just going to wait for the uh, GMR number, and, uh, and then we can drop out for the port. So I know that doesn't look very big, them stacks over there, but they're about well, how long, how long are them? Anyway, each one. Let's put four straps on each because it's heavy. <laughs> So I've got eight, nine, nine packs of that on board. So is he. It's a good bloke him. He's uh, been with Maxi for quite a few years. We were just talking about where our, all the ratchet straps that go missing from Maxi, it costs a fortune and a lot of the time the, the, these trailers go over to Ireland and he, he's saying that he thinks a lot of these trailers, a lot of our straps end up on foreign wagons back to Poland and Hungary or wherever they're going because uh, for a brand new tra uh, ratchet strap you can probably get 10 euros for it which is a barrel whack. Um, so yeah, a lot of ours go missing. They don't come over. They don't come back over. Well, because I mean, we've got I've got P and O ones on here. So I've just put them. I've just put them P and O ones on this load to send them back to Ireland. Do you have to use the same way bridge? Any? Okay. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. There's a queue for this way bridge now. It's also a public way bridge as well. A lot more grippier that one on the right than the one on the left. Right, I'm uh, just going to park up and wait around the corner now. What time are we on? 11 o'clock. So I'm going to go to the cafe and get some breakfast or some dinner. Yeah, I've come for the healthy option. Go on, tell me how bad it is and my health. I'll regret it in later life. Whatever. I'm having my sausage, chips and beans. Nom. I knew the day would change. So now I'm... Uh, I'm running this into <coughs> into the port, like I was supposed to anyway. Uh, running back solo to the yard. And um, then getting an empty, taking that to Kellogg's in Manchester. Getting an empty, getting a, a trailer that's VOR. Which means vehicle off road, it's wrong with it. That's going back to the yard. I don't know what's wrong with it yet, I'll find out. I'm going to guess it's probably just like tatty curds or something. Anyone going to uh, let me go? No, nope, didn't think so.
I've just had a look at the paperwork, reading the paperwork for this. So it's this is going from here to a company in Ireland. The company in Ireland are going to turn it into stuff, and then uh, we will end up bringing that stuff back to the UK and delivering it. So this stuff I've got on board now will get turned into something, and then I will probably end up delivering it myself. <laughs> Typical. I'm about to get out and it starts to rain. Winner. So just in case you're wondering, if you was to, I've, I've wondered this myself before I actually got my licenses. If you was to drive, I've forgot the class one, if you used to drive just the class one truck on its own, what license you'd need for that? That depends what it's actually, what it's, what it's weighted at. Um, this is going to be, uh, it's, well, empty weight is about 8 tonnes, so you couldn't use a 7 half tonne licence to drive it. But you can use a class 2 to drive it, and if you ever hear someone saying, oh you need to block off the 5th wheel, or remove the 5th wheel, that's rubbish. You don't at all, <laughs> just drive it. Um, some people have been thinking of doing the uh, shunting work of the basically what we call it now, where you, where you transport a vehicle and make your own way back or something like that. Well, if you've got a, if you've got a class two, you can still you can tr transport these from side to side. Uh, and the good thing about that is, you, if you're just doing transporting, you don't have to use your taco card. You don't have to put it in. However, you do have to have it on you. So uh, you don't have to you don't have to clock it up. So if you want to be dodgy. Do a bit of uh, delivering trucks and that over the weekends, and then uh, don't put your card in. You don't need to. <laughs> I'm not encouraging that. I'm just saying that's what you could do. I'm hoping it's not buried. I mean, the trailer's not like the, the the trailer park is not that like packed, but uh, I think it's buried. I think it's like. At the back. I'll get fuel later, there's a seven and a half ton on it. Right, let's go find that trailer. Where the bloody hell is it? I don't know. Speak to the shunter. He's not in it. <laughs> oh well, I'll park this up and then go have a look around. best to speak to the shunters because they know what they're doing. Right. There's a space that'll do. Apparently it's only been collected, one was collected yesterday which needed a curtain repair and uh, one was collected today with a, a hole in the roof it's usually where the uh, the wind grips under it and just pulls the rivets out I am just going to double check this trailer over here because the shunner seems to think it's still here so I'm going to check that 949, I'm supposed to be picking up 950 Well that one's loaded so it's not that one So uh, I'm going to give the officer a ring We'll check Give 
away from them curtains before they decide to hook onto my, my truck. They said to come back to the yard. One of the other depots have picked it up. So, off to the yard we go. Ah, finally parked up and realised the camera could have been wobbling around quite a lot because it's loose. In fact, it's so loose. <laughs> oh, I'll never mind. So, someone just sent me a picture of uh, next door flooded. Well, it's not flooded now, but uh, it was underwater yesterday uh, over the deck of the trailers. Uh, so, that's it. I'm just going to sort the cab out, chuck it in the car. Go and refuel the truck and uh, give it a wash and then uh, be on my way home. So thanks for watching. Please, if you can remember, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, and if you're not subscribed, well, you're not subscribed, are you? See you later.